What's up everybody, it's Caroline. I'm Griff. And today we're running you through 30 awesome gameplay details contained in Planet Zoo. And Griff, it is nice to see that you dress up for the occasion. Wait, what? Dress up? What? Like for the video, did you dress up for Planet Zoo? Planet Zoo what now? Like the animals and the shelters and the conservation? Nope. All right, roll the thing. <laughs> My ears are on. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Number one. Every animal is unique in Planet Zoo, even within the same species. Look closely enough and you'll see subtle differences in their appearance and personality. Number two, Planet Zoo has a campaign mode. You play as a junior zookeeper working your way up to the top. So if you're worried about your zoo management skills, Frontier has you covered. Just try and keep those animals safe, okay? Number three, don't like the structured approach? Sandbox mode gives you unlimited resources and complete creative freedom to build your dream zoo. I'm gonna make mine on top of a giant staircase. Number four, keep your beasties happy. Animals respond to the environment around them, so it's important to recreate their natural habitat, feed them the necessary nutrients, give them things to play with, and make sure they're in a safe social group. Animals need friends too, you know. Five, wondering how to keep tabs on your furry friends? Each animal has its own information menu, detailing its age, welfare, nutrition, social, habitat, and enrichment levels. So you can see in real time just how well they're doing. Number six, there are some things you can pick up from just observing the animals themselves. If they're sick or injured, they'll lie down more. Whereas if they're stressed, they'll try and hide away from the guests. Know how you feel. Number seven, you can give your animals toys to increase their enrichment levels. Make a lion happy by giving it a scratching pole, or maybe a ball for the elephants to play around with. Number eight, to really rake in those dollars, visitors need to be looked after too. This means ensuring they can navigate the zoo with ease, refreshments are available, they can't see zookeeper huts, and most importantly, they have a good view of all the exciting animals. Number nine, guests need to learn about the animals in your zoo for an enjoyable experience. Placing signs, speakers, and other educational devices near enclosures keep them informed. And maybe you'll pick up a thing or two as well. Number 10, so where do you get your animal info? Well, Frontier has you covered as zoo staff will research your animals over time. That information is then added to a Zoopedia. Just imagine your own personal wiki for animals. Number 11. Each animal has its own bespoke set of animations, meaning no two animals move or act in the same way. With different ear flicks, tail swishes, and eye movement, every experience is a new one. Cue the ear floppity flops. Number 12, hours upon hours of research went into studying each animal so they feel and move like real creatures. For example, the Indian peafowl was animated down to the feather to capture its likeness. I mean, have you seen how many feathers this thing has? It's full of feathers. Jesus Christ. 13. It wouldn't be a zoo without a whole load of animals. And Frontier has given us just that. My personal favorites include the giant Galapagos tortoise, the African elephant, and the ring-tailed lemur. Number 14, Planet Zoo has greenhouses, which means perfect temperatures for exotic creatures. Spiders and iguanas are the only ones confirmed so far, but with a whole location specifically created for these tropical crit crits, it looks more than likely we'll get more in the future. 15, you can build your zoo in various biomes around the planet. Each location has its own climate, which impacts the animals in it. So don't put an elephant in the Arctic without giving it a heat pad or at least a blanket. Number 16, speaking of weather, sounds are tailored to reflect the environment. For example, if the location is hot, you'll hear crickets. If it's snowing, the sounds will be muffled. And if it rains, the raindrops will sound different on every surface they hit. Number 17, in Planet Zoo, the animal's health will be affected by its gene pool, much like in the real world. Traits such as appearance and lifespan will be determined by the animals that are bred together. So choose carefully. Number 18, animals will die in Planet Zoo, but it's okay as the new ones will be born as the older ones perish and thus the circle of life continues. Number 19, animals can live together if they have complementary behaviors. For example, zebras and black wildebeests alert one another when predators are near. Put them in the same enclosure and watch their enrichment levels grow. Just don't put zebras in with any lions. We all know how that story ends. 
Number 20. Trying to recreate an animal's natural habitat is hard, but luckily your beasties will let you know if they're lacking anything they need, as shown here by this percentage in the display tab. Number 21. Since you can raise and lower terrain just like in Planet Coaster, Frontier gives animals a procedural animation system, so they can move convincingly over most land formations you put in their way. I've always wanted to see a rhino up a cliff. 22. Our animal friends need time to rest. Make sure to place their bedding under cover so it doesn't get wet. No one wants a soggy bed. 23. You can go inside buildings in Planet Zoo. Access an interior and you'll see zookeepers preparing food for the animals, and, uh, whatever else they do in their little huts. Number 24. Each animal has its own dietary requirements. The research that we mentioned earlier is key to discovering what works specifically for your animals and what doesn't. All of this costs money, so remember that when trying to turn a profit. 25. You can use staff paths to keep your zookeepers separate from your guests. Allow for staff-only areas and walkways between enclosures to maximize your zookeeper's efficiency and keep the private areas hidden. 26. Transport rides can be used to shuttle guests around the zoo. Like in Planet Coaster, you can decide where to put them, the color and the look of vehicles and how much it costs to ride. 27. Sadly, depending on the type of person you are, escaped animals can't kill guests. Visitors will however become unhappy and leave, probably to do with their lives being threatened by man-eating cats or something. Number 28. Animals can fight each other in Planet Zoo. For example, West African lions will battle other males for dominance and mating rights with the females. Other animals may just not like each other and hash out their differences. 29. If an animal is injured, you'll see fully modeled wounds. Over time, those wounds will develop into scars, so it can let all the other animals know that they're not to be messed with. Number 30. There are two editions of Planet Zoo. The standard edition comes with just the game, while the deluxe edition comes with beta access, wallpapers, the soundtrack, and three additional animals. These are a pygmy hippopotamus, a Thompson's gazelle, and a Komodo dragon. So those are 30 gameplay details about Planet Zoo. Yeah, if you like the video, remember to... Ah, <laughs> so those are 30 gameplay details about Planet Zoo. As ever, if you... Ah, so those are 30 gameplay details about Planet Zoo. As ever, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to PC Games N. Do you know what? I quite enjoy being a zebra. Is that what you call a zebra? Yeah. Okay, those eyes are terrifying. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Really? A zebra? Ugh. Oh.